Well, we would like to welcome you to the broadcast tonight. The recap of race number one from Monday Night Lights. MNL is a league that takes place inside of NASCAR Racing 2003 season. Created by Papyrus Racing Games way back in the day, this classic lives on. We're going to talk about this race at North Wilkesboro. This is a beautiful track. Of course, it's a real track, but it has been modified as if it did appear today. Seven cars in the race tonight. We got some names. We got Reigns, Cruz, Ryan, Xavier, Donlin, Hudson, and Clark. That's the 310 car, the 7 car, the 42, the 44, the 72, the 75, and the 3. And there's the green flag. We head down into turn 1. Of course, we have to go 3 wide on lap 1. The 72 gets quickly shuffled to the back. We skip to the leaders right now. 75 and 7. That would be Hudson. And that would be Crows. Pretty good racing for these boys tonight. They put up quite, quite a show, that's for sure. They definitely are strong in this league. And even in the initial laps of the race, I can say that with confidence that this league is going to be entertaining because we do have some racers that definitely do race hard, but they do race smart. I mean, accidents will happen, and that's fine. But it was very good to see a nice uh, variety of skilled players. We haven't even gone 10 laps left. Let's go inside the 75 cockpit and see what's wrong here. Well, nothing's wrong. These guys are just racing hard. You can see a little bit of avoidance there. They're, they are trading some paint. There has been some banging already. We went about lap six or seven. Tags the wall right there. The 75, we go to the roof cam, trying to tuck a nose down on the inside of the seven. He does successfully do it. Can he make the pass? No, he can't. North Wilkesboro is a very unique track and it does have multiple lines and it's just short track racing. Excellent. Excellent short track race in here at Wilkesboro Speedway. This track has been modified, obviously. They've added grandstands, put it under the lights as if it would exist today, which unfortunately it does not. This track was abandoned back in the 90s. As we focus on the leaders here, you can see a little bit of contact. Puts the seven car around and do a spin. That means the yellow flag does come out. First caution of the race at lap number 19 the 7 and the 75. Here's a view from the 310 as he goes low to avoid that. Very good driving on his part. As you can see here, pit stops occur. 75 decides to stay out. That way he can get his actual lead back. Everybody else came down except the 75. Damage is set to moderate for the league. So even though the 75 took damage, it's just short track racing. He decides to stay out, get his lead back. Everybody else, as you can see right here on pit road. Just a quick explanation as to why the 72 car is the only one that seems to have actual pit crew members. That's the car I'm driving. So my replay shows my pit crew and everybody else has a pit crew, obviously. You just can't see it in my replay. So as all the cars here get a little bit of service done, a little bit of dents bashed out and some new wheels and maybe a little top up on the fuel. You can take a look there at the way that the scoring has taken place with the timing chart, the top left of your screen. The 75 got the position back. Just minor damage, a little bit of contact with the 7, a little bit of contact with the wall, took the lead back. Everybody now lining up for the restart. Restarts occur when we restart the races, which means it will be going green here now. We all choose lines. As the drivers select a high or low line, we are coming to the green flag right now. From the helicopter view, we head down the front straightaway into the first right-hand turn. That's a line. This is an oval. It's a left-hand turn. As everybody spreads out and gets through the first turn okay, everybody's right back where they want to be. Here 
here we are coming out of turn number four. The 7-5, he makes contact with the wall. The 7 takes advantage of that. Ducks around the inside there. 75 charges hard back into the turn. Tries to take it back. Cannot get it. The 7 makes it stick. And the 7 will lead the lap. The 75 with a little bit more damage. Now remember, he did not go into the pits after that first little tussle. So that's just a little bit more damage to add to the damage he already took a few laps prior and you can see the 310 takes advantage of that too it'll take the 75 a few laps to settle back into this uh, maybe a little bit of a crunched up right front the turn 4 exit wall does get a lot of action in this race let me just tell you that I don't know what it is it's like magnetic We'll flip back to the back of the pack now with the number 72 car with number 44 close on its tail. There's some good racing going on all around this track today. I mean, this there's only seven drivers that enter the race tonight, but, you know, the, the leaders have their race and the guys in the back half of the pack have their race too. The blue flags are coming up here now. You can see the number three car gets the blue flag, has to allow the 75. He also will need to yield to the 310. Blue flag basically just means if you're just a little bit slower or maybe going to go a lap down, they will throw the blue flag on you, and that just lets you know that the leaders are coming. Pay attention to that rear view. Clearly yield the lane, depending where you are on the track. Well, here we are, the 44 Texaco-sponsored car driven by Arthur Xavier. Now, the funny thing with Arthur Xavier is back in grade 7, he won a strudel-making contest. That's where Texaco found him, signed him up, and put him in a race car. Turns out the boy can race. And here he is tonight. We're happy to have him in Monday Night Lights. The 310 car is currently traveling around the track in third position, driven by Zachary Reigns. Now, Zachary, when he was 16 years old, walked from Florida all the way to North Dakota to race go-karts. That year was 1998. And in 1998, he won 411 go-kart races. So Penske did not hesitate to put him in this car and make him turn left the rest of his life. Little known fact about Blaine Dolan, who currently right now occupies the sixth position in the 72 car. He's a Canadian boy. And 20 years ago, broke the jumping jack record in gym class. He did 32 jumping jacks in about 20 minutes. That day, he had a heart attack, died. When they brought him back to life, all he wanted to do was race NASCAR, but nobody would let him do it. And somehow he's behind the wheel tonight. Nobody really knows why, but you know, he's able to keep it between the lines. So who really cares, right? Riverheadbrewing.com or whatever their website is. So the 75 right now appears to have uh, chosen to come down pit road. As you could remember from before, he took a couple of hard, hard knocks. He's able to get that damage figured out right now. Driving a Valvoline car. Now, the interesting fact about the number 75, uh, Connor Hudson, by the way, is the name of the driver. See how he parks the car? A little bit in front of the pit box. The reason for that is the wind coming from the south side of the track traveling north is blocked by the pit box. Therefore, if he parks a little bit forward, he's able to catch a breeze across the front of his face cools him down while he's getting pit service. As you can see there, now he's waiting for damage to be repaired and it also gives him a cool, cool breeze through the car because he parked a little bit in front of the line. The 75 back out on the track with the 44. So the 3 and the 42 right here get into it, get knocked around. Similar accident to the 7 and the 75 previous. That brings out yellow flag number 2. We fast forward to lap number 81 right now. Cars are now coming down the pits again. This is a pretty exciting race. There's only been a couple of yellows. You can see there, cars pitting, cars not pitting. Choosing to stay out, the 72, the 44, and the three. Lots of very good bumper to bumper action. Brings us up, like I said, to lap number 81 right now where these cars are going back in for service some tires some fuel getting ready for the last 20 laps of the race there is 100 laps to this race so right now we're within the final 20. the 72 decides to get out of the way you can see the scoring at the top left there 
I was talking to the 72 about this one, you know, clearly the other cars are faster. Um, the 72 could have actually made it to the end of the race. Uh, was driving very conservatively, saving those tires and saving that gas, but uh, definitely would not have been able to keep up with the 7, the 7.5 and the 310. So just decided to pull off and get two right sides to get out of the way. We're back to green flag racing right now. At the back of the pack, we're getting some pretty good runs here with the 4-2, the 4-4, four the, four four, the 7-2. As you can see, the scoring in the top left there, they're having a pretty good, uh, pretty good tussle. Same with the front three. This brings out another yellow flag. As you can see, these 75 and 7, man, they're racing hard tonight. And they uh, got into it again. That brings out a yellow. Uh, the scoring has been fixed top left. It flipped over to a different menu. So this sets up a very, very interesting finish. Now this is another green flag. We're back to hard racing. The 75 gets pushed out of the way. It shuffles him to the back. The 3 will back off. The 3 is a, a lap down. He does not want to race the 75. So smart decision on the 3 part. The white flag is now out. This is the final lap. The 75 is clearly frustrated here. Went a little too hard into that turn. Collected about three to four more cars with him. Now because this happened near the back of the pack and the leaders got away, race control decided because the white was in the air. No yellow. So here comes the 7 and the 3-1-0s in first place. Gets just ramrodded by the 7. They get tangled, the 7 tries to tuck back underneath, but the 310 is actually going to hold them off for the win. Like, just an exciting, exciting finish here, the first race of Monday Night Lights. The 310 of Zachary Reigns wins the first race of the season, 7 in second place. Just a fantastic finish, a fantastic race. There was only, out of 100 laps, I believe there was only three caution flags. So congratulations to Zachary Reigns. As you can see here on screen are the final standings for the race. Also keep in mind that Monday Night Lights is also broadcast live. There is a live stream hosted by broadcaster Michael Coville. So thank you to Michael for broadcasting the race. Here's the schedule for the rest of the season. Those races will all be broadcast live. Thank you also to Wyatt Dilly putting this league together thanks for watching we'll see you next monday at the short track in pocono 4 p.m pacific 7 p.m eastern standard time nascar racing 2003 season thank you for watching